Today we're going to be trying lots of different traditional Turkish foods. It's our second day in Istanbul and we don't know much about Turkish food but we've heard it's really good. We're going to take you with us and try all these amazing foods. So we've just come into this little cafe and I've ordered a Turkish coffee. I've never tried one before but apparently they're really strong. So I've just got this pomegranate tea and it has actual pomegranate seeds in it. So I'm quite excited to try it but I think it's a bit hot at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my Turkish coffee. I've got some water as well, probably because it's so strong. I've heard Turkish coffee is meant to be really strong and also you have, I think that's Turkish light. Ooh. Okay, so let's try this Turkish coffee. Really small, it's like an espresso shot almost, isn't it? Mm. That is strong, but it, it is quite nice. They haven't put any sugar in it either. Other places in Asia, they have so much sugar in it, but this, not any. Oh my god, that's so good. Is it? It's really good. You do love pomegranate though, I love don't pomegranate, you? but it's really sweet. Unlike my coffee, which yeah. is like not sweet. But I don't mind, it's good. Not really sweet good. or refreshing, but it's good. I'm going to try this Turkish delight. I can't actually remember having it before, so I'm not really sure what it tastes like, but it's quite squidgy. Oh, chewy. Okay, it's, it's nice, it is good, but I'm not sure if I prefer it over chocolate because I'm a bit of a chocolate, I love chocolate, basically. So after that coffee, I'm super awake. I don't know about you. He's buzzing, I'm pretty normal. <laughs> so we're gonna try and find some food now because I'm getting a little bit hungry. We're gonna try some like a Turkish restaurant or something, but that coffee was only 35 lira, which is like one pound 50 or something. And mine was 39 and it had like fresh pomegranate in, so pretty yeah. good. So we've just come to this little restaurant on the street and we've ordered a Turkish pizza which I think is called a pied which is like meat and stuff and then we've ordered a mixed grill so like kebabs with rice and stuff so yeah we're just waiting for that to come and we've got some little bits here. Nice maybe this is the Esme or something. Esme we had some yesterday I think it might be the same thing but let us know. <laughs> so we just got given this bread which we didn't even ask for but it's warm and it was just puffy but we missed that. It's and massive. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm going to try it with some of this Esme which I think is Esme but I don't know. Wow oh, that's so good. Is it? Yeah you need to try some of this. Okay. I love fresh bread it's so good. Save some for me. I will. Well probably not. I'll keep it to myself. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that looks very wow. good. It's huge. <laughs> it's massive. I love this. Turkish food is so big. You get Ooh. so much for your food. For the value. Yeah. I want to get a central piece here. Yeah, with cent lots of the meat on it. We also ordered it without cheese because they asked whether we wanted it without cheese or not. Yeah, and I hate cheese, so I was like, of course, no cheese. <laughs> Mm. That's really nice. Is it? Mm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Two sugar? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Everything okay? Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. good. So, what should I start with? Nick, I think this is beef and then chicken. And maybe some lamb. Oh, look at that. It's still hot. Blow huh? on it. Oh, look, it's been kebabbed. I don't know if that's how you cook, but the stick through the middle of it. Right, let's go for it. Mm. Good? Yeah. Do you want to use the chilli? Try it. Kicking in a little bit, but it's not actually that spicy. So we have just finished that amazing meal and I'm feeling pretty full now. But stuffed. <laughs> yeah, Turkish food is so filling and that food in total cost 360 lira, which is a pretty good meal considering we also got like that big bread and other stuff as well. But now we are at the seafront, literally where we were yesterday if you watched that vlog, the last vlog. And if you haven't, then make sure you subscribe because we've got so many more videos of Turkey ahead, haven't we? Yes. We're going all over. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> evet, come on. Take it, take it, take it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, yes, play, yes, yes, play. Hey, let's see. Come on, you ready? You ready, man? Come on. Yes. Don't go, don't go. Take the places up. Turn, 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 turn. Again, again, again. Thank you. Oh my, it's 
Guys, we just got roped into that ice cream little performance show. Um, <laughs> he and shoved it in my face. I literally got shoved in the face and he like hit me in the stomach. I was like, what is he doing? But it was quite funny to be honest. Um, these cost how much? 60 lira each, so three pounds each, which isn't too bad to be fair. And you do get quite a lot. I've already licked off. <laughs> yeah, you do but... get quite a lot. But it tastes quite different, wasn't it? Wasn't it's it? like a bit thick, but it tastes amazing. Mine I doesn't. think I might have read online um, it contains flour or something just to thicken it up, but maybe put in the comment. Um, oh, I'm choking on ice cream. <laughs> <coughs> um, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But yeah, it's really good. So it's a bit later on in the evening now because we were quite full, but we are going to go out and find some little street food bits that we can try out. Um, we saw these mussels earlier, which we're quite interested to try. So and they were like filled of rice, so we're going to give them a go and also get some more sweet stuff. Hello, hello. 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 Are these filled with rice? With the... Rice spice mix. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mmm. Good. It's good. And these mussels are really good. So they're filled with rice, but they are good, but I want Amelia to try them on camera. Is it um, spicy? It's not spicy, but we are on this whole like boulevard corner thing. And so we're kind of eating like street food. I guess this is kind of like Turkish street food. As you can see that, you can see the rice in there and the mussel as well. Okay, how do I eat this? Just go for it. Mm. Do you like it? Mm. It's good, isn't it? I think this is one of my favorite things we've had whilst we've been in Turkey, which yeah, has only same. been two days, but still it's like such a unique thing having like fried rice in a mussels. I've never yeah, seen yeah. that anywhere else. Yeah, you know, I've not had it before. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh wow, look at this. So we've just come to this restaurant to try some rice pudding and I think it's got pistachio one maybe, but it looks really, really good. Give it a go. Is it hot? No, it's cold actually. I was worried it was going to be hot. Really? Mm, it's oh. good. Is it good? Mm. Oh, that is nice. Do you like it? Yeah. I just was expecting it to be warm there. It's nice and sweet as well. So I just looked up like what's the difference between Turkish rice pudding like other rice puddings. Apparently it's mi mixed with like eggs, uh, milk and sugar and then they like bake it on top. Uh, I don't know if it's the same as other ones but it tastes so good. I love it. <laughs> Forty-five lira each for like that rice pudding, and yeah, pretty good price really for like a little dessert. If you're in Istanbul, you will see them selling like corn pretty much everywhere, and it's like grilled on a little fire. But we had it in the last video, so if you want to go check that out, it's it's nice. But it normally costs about fifteen lira. But although we did see it for ten somewhere, well, we did see it for ten, which is a very good deal. This is woman life. You have to follow the rules. Otherwise, the problem always. I think that's what I had the other day. One bite for you, one bite for me. <laughs> Don't eat all of them. So we are back in our room now, and we went into that sweet shop as you probably saw, um, and there's so many sweets everywhere. But blimey, it is so expensive. It's like a tourist trap. It's such a scam as well because he wouldn't let us wait like scoop it ourselves. he was just pouring loads in and we were like stop 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 and it was 720 lira um for a kilogram of sweets um so that's like 34 pounds thir yeah 35 quid and we were like what it was like that's more than this whole room for one night which is crazy and so we were just like no can we have less and he was like oh no that's nothing that's nothing so we we're just like okay let's leave because this is way too much like 
We were, ended up at like £15 for some sweets and I was like, that's so much. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video because we really enjoyed trying the food. Yeah, it was so good, especially those mussels with the rice in. That was so tasty. I did like the ice cream as well. The oh, performance yeah. was oh, something yeah, that was special. Fun. Just like slapping us in the face. <laughs> oh, we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.